Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and I have another unboxing. I know, I know, I just did an, an unboxing last week, but this is my uh, Toasted Flan Speckled Fawns, and I ordered this, I pre-ordered it, and um, it has arrived, and I am super excited about it. I love her, um, the new design on how they package everything and it is supposedly wrapped a little bit different than it has been in the past and and I'm excited to see that. Uh, Terry moved shot or moved states actually and so um, oh that is oh, that is so cute oh a it's a Tombow green pencil. That is awesome. I love that. Oh my word. So many little goodies. Look at, okay, that is just adorable. That looks like to be like an Akita. You guys see that? It's like a paper clip. That is so cute. I'm going to pull that off. If I can. Oh my goodness. I love the goodies. All right, let's see what else is in here. Can I get that? Okay. Oh, they're washi strips. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. So they're backed washi strips. That is fabulous. I love that crystal one. That is so cute. Well, I am loving that. And then there's one other thing in here. Um, oh, that's cute. Typewriter. It's like a little sticker. And, oh, that's so cute. Thank you for your order. Everything in the universe has a rhythm. Everything dances. Maya Angelou. Okay, I am totally putting that in my journal. That is gorgeous. I love that. So cool. Terry, I love the new things. Those are so cool. And I love the pencil. I'd actually been wanting to try the Tombow um, colored pencils. So is it color? Oh no, it's for general writing. It's just a regular pencil. That is awesome. And the little paper clip is gorgeous. Okay. All the schmooks off of there. So let's go ahead and open up this. And again, as I said, this is from the, her new run of Toasted Flan. And it is a week's cover. But, oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. this is gorgeous. Make sure you guys are in frame there. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I love this. Oh, it smells fabulous. Oh, this is so pretty. I love the rusticness to it. That has, that's not a scratch. That's actually out of the leather. And that is so pretty. This is, um, oh my goodness. My brain has left me. It's the regular week's cover. It's the one that comes with the pocket. I, I will post it down below here because I'm like, I am now too distracted trying to get my weeks out of the other cover. So, okay, so the weeks goes, pull that guy out. So it does fit with the cover on cover in it. And you do have an elastic there as well. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Oh, and then you've got that front pocket. And that comes out. And then you've got the zipper there, which you can either use this as a wallet or you can use it 
just, you know, to keep your ephemera and stuff in. And I love that as well. Oh, I love this. With the little owl poking out from the woolly planner. Oh, that is just a beautiful piece of leather. I love the rusticness to it. I love the, the unfinished pocket. It is so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. I love it. I love it. So I'm gonna, this is my regular size weeks. This is my sneaker weeks that I use in my, this is my wallet. Um, it is a Filofax um, Malden. And so it is a lot shorter. Uh, obviously this one will house a regular standard weeks, but it will also house the sneaker weeks as well. So you have no issues there whatsoever. Um, you could even also put in a weekly um, insert, you know, multiple books in this. That would have no problem whatsoever fitting in there. Uh, I do have a week, um, a week sized um, insert from Odd Girl Journals. And so that would fit here that I could also use as my wallet, which as I say that, I realized I had it over at my desk. So this just has various um, pieces of ephemera in it. And so I could include that. And these are all um, pockets that I could also include as part of my wallet. So yeah, that would, that would definitely work for a wallet. And I would have no problems with that. It's not as wide, but it is a little bit taller. So what I give up in width, I make up for in, in height, but I love that. That actually feels really good in my hand. So yeah, I would obviously put that back in there. That is so exciting and it is so pretty. I love it. I had originally ordered one of these um, in black and I do not know what I was thinking because I was going to use it with my weeks and I ordered a personal instead of a weeks. And I'm like, when I got it, I'm like, this doesn't fit. And so I finally got around to ordering another one and it fits perfectly and I love it. So, okay, I wanted to do a quick update on uh, the Speckled Fawns Chatelaine and I have now actually got it fully set up as my wallet and I just wanted to show you how I actually set it up. So in this, I actually, in the front pocket, instead of decorative, I'm actually using this little tiny moleskin notebook that I found. And um, it's all perforated pages. So I am just using this for if I need to rip out a list or something like that. So that just slides in there perfectly. It could actually go all the way down but I like it sticking out just a little bit. So that's what's in the front there. And then you open it up and it's got my Hobonichi uh, Sneaker Weeks, as I showed you earlier. That is, um, this is my throwaway weeks. This weeks, I don't actually keep. Uh, the one that I used last year in my Malden is one that I actually tore apart and de ring or despined and punched holes in it for the rings. This year, um, because we've been back and forth without having, um, you know, clear cut, we're done with the pandemic kind of thing, I just never got around to cutting this up. And I'm actually kind of happy I didn't because it works great in the Chatelaine. And so, as I said, this one I don't keep as a memory planner. It is literally just notes. And so some weeks I don't even get into it, but it's like I just use pen in this, nothing else. No stickers, no nothing else. 
So there's that. And the pen loop, uh, because I don't, they don't make a cover on cover for the sneaker weeks, I just use, uh, this is probably from, I want to say 2017, 2016, 2017. They did this particular color of pencil board or shatajiki. Um, and so I uh, used this in my weeks uh, for several years and I just put a pen loop on it and it works great. So there's that. And this, like I said, doesn't have a cover on cover on it. And so it, I, it just literally gets thrown around. So this is the Odd Girl Journal and it's one of her inserts. This is Day of the Dead. And I actually have uh, three different versions of this. I've got an A6, I've got the A5, and then I did the Weeks. Oh, and I did a personal as well. So um, this has been my favorite pattern that she's done. And it's got like the um, flap there and then cards for or pictures of my uh, different video or places for all my cards. It's got one, two, three, four for all my cards. Then you've got a pocket there and then you've got a zipper pocket here, which is where all the rest of my cards are that I don't use on a daily basis. This is actually from my cash envelopes when I was using a cash envelope system. And so I just keep my cash in there and there's actually some change in there as well. And so I just slide it in like that. And that way um, I very rarely use cash. And so it's just much easier to have it here in case I need it. And there you go. So that's what I have tucked in to the strings. And that is my wallet, basically. And then in here, I have um, just papers and things like that that I need to keep, my work ID. Um, it just slides in there. So you could theoretically, the zipper is still stiff. I don't use this very often. Um, I haven't been, I've used this for about a week and um, I wanted to get, give you guys kind of an update on how it's working as a wallet uh, before I posted the video and it works great. Um, I, you could put your cash and your coins in here. I just prefer to have easier access here and that way, if it got too bulky, I would know it. So that's all I have. I haven't put anything in here at all, although I could. Um, I am not a decorative ephemera kind of person, especially in my wallet. I need it to be more functional. And so that is how it looks. And like I said, this is about a week out of using it. And it's very easy just to carry around. It's not, you know, too overly heavy. And it's less bulky than the Final Facts Malden is. Um, but as I said earlier, it is taller. So um, it's already starting to get like a little bit of a patina. Um, just because when I'm carrying it, if I don't want to carry my whole purse, I usually carry it like this. And you can kind of see where my thumb has kind of rubbed that a little bit. Um, but I love this. I absolutely love it. And it's the leather. I've, I've had a couple of different toasted flans and um, the leather kind of varies, but it's, it's thinner. And you can see here with the pockets and everything, it is one, two, three, four layers thick, but it's still not super thick. And I really just love this. I, I did notice on um, some of her newer pieces that she's been doing, they aren't stitching the strap, which I actually prefer. Just because I'm using this as a wallet, I like having that extra layer of um, leather, but there are a lot of people who actually like the thinner leather to do that. But for me, <laughs> I'm kind of like a bull in a china shop and it it just fits my hand everything really well and I love that about this 
and I'm really super happy that I went back in and reordered. Um, Toast of Flan and Kodiak are some of my favorite leathers from her, and I, I am super happy with getting this, and I love the little copper rivets there, everything about this, so yeah. It's it's beautiful, it's more rustic, and it is what I wanted originally, and then, as I said, ordered the wrong size, and I, I'm happy I actually went with the brown this time. Um, I've just kind of been leaning more towards the browns this year, this past year and a half, and I've been super happy with it. So there you have it, all set up for my wallet. Um, eventually I may figure out a different way. You could put the pen in here. Uh, I just didn't like the way it kind of bulked out on the back, but, um, you know, you could figure it out. I, I might try to find a smaller pen loop that doesn't stick out as much. Um, I know I have some of the Leuchtturm elastic, um, pen loops somewhere in this massive craziness that is my house, but, um, this has been working great, and like I said, I've had I've used this for several years now, in with my weeks, and so it's turned out really well. So there you have it, my fully functional speckled fawn chatelaine wallet in toasted flan. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.